Well, hello and welcome everyone. It's so good to have you with us this morning at Mubula. And the hippos are also saying good morning today. <laughs> I just love that sound. It is so good to have you on board. My name is Amy and behind the camera with me is Cam and we are looking forward to getting out there and starting our sunrise safari with you all this morning. We have a mom and a calf here and the baby has this very cute habit of lying on mom's back every time we come past this waterhole just a beautiful calm scene with the birds calling in the background there is a cheetah that's just all down in front of us and there's a second one coming behind it i think these must be the two males yes one had a collar and one didn't absolutely incredible moment we were literally just chatting about our plan for the morning, where we're heading to, what we're thinking of doing. And we thought maybe we could go look at some lions, maybe um, we could go and see if we could find them. Oh, what area to head to, but I mean, this is incredible. We were literally just sitting here and <laughs> they've popped out. On the move again. I think they are heading towards a road so we're gonna try and see if we can get them crossing <laughs> amazing i mean when i say you know we'll see what we can find for you all we'll see what the bush has to give us this is what i'm talking about because this was not a plan <laughs> and this is why i love being out here so much expect the unexpected there you go brothers on a territorial patrol and also looking for any opportunity for this morning for something to eat I love how they move so elegant agile those long legs long tail <sighs> I mean, what more could you ask for? Just, just incredible. I think from here, we are going to head up to see if we can find where an odd wolf has been seen. Oh, well, this is just incredible. Oh my word. It's a real life odd wolf, everybody. Ah. Oh just taking a minute to take this in and it is so relaxed you can see it's having a nap closing its eyes the odd wolf is part of the hyena family the smallest of the four different species of hyena but uh, this odd wolf is an insectivore and has a sticky tongue and laps up the termites from the surface of the soil and actually not too far from here is one of this uh, odd wolf's middens and um, when it gets up in the evening it'll head to that midden it'll deposit a probably the estimate is about 10 percent of its body weight in poop <laughs> so if you have a look just above its head there there's some very very long strands of fur that are actually touching the top of the of the den and um, an odd wolf when it when it is walking or when it needs to display uh, because it's so small it's got these very long um, long bits of fur on top of its back and if it erects that those those pieces of hair it can almost double its body size the look of its body size 
I've got a picture here in my mammals book to show you what the aardvark looks like out of the den and also with that erect mane and here it is over here it's a little illustration that I think shows you quite nicely what it would look like if it was out of the den and you can recognize the face and those ears by what we can see in the den at the moment and then there's those sort of that fur that stands erect on their back and there's also a little bit of striping that comes down the side this is just really incredible it's my first art for everybody this is awesome <laughs> Well here we have one of those aardvalve middens that I was talking about earlier and I thought it would be a really nice uh, opportunity to show you all at home what one actually looks like. So this would be the spot where that aardvalve would come, um, either this one or another one within its territory and deposit that 10% of feces in the evening before it heads out to continue foraging. And you can see that it's been dug there's there's activity here and they actually will try and cover up that dung also to help get the scent of their urine and that sort of thing on their legs as they're walking around to help mark their territory and all these little bits that almost looks like solidified bits of soil is actually their feces so look how fine that is and you can see bits of termite in there look at that all those little sort of exoskeletons of the termite that you can see inside the dung and the rest of it is all soil so because it's it's using its sticky tongue to sort of lap up the termites it gets a lot of sandy soil in that as well well we have had what can only be described as an amazing morning everyone wow <laughs> It really has been absolutely incredible from starting off not really knowing what to expect as always um, and being surprised by those two cheetah just popping out in front of us unbelievable and then going on to see my first aardvalf and what a cute sighting that was with it there in its den and um, yes, the rest of the morning, I mean, seeing hippos and some birding along the way, including these beautiful two yellow-billed hornbills. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.